Right everyone, I've got to this um, World War something or other, shelter type thing, bunker. After climbing up from the valley where the Tynings farm is and the horse riding stables, with beautiful views, further down you can see pictures of um, Steep Home and uh, I think it was Steep Home, it, it could have been, yes, yeah, Steep Home. And there's the woods there. And I've not seen this before. I've never come across cows up here ever. Right, those are cows. Look, sheltering under there. That is not a horse, is Buckside. I've just got to hope that these things are friendly. And I don't know how many there are. But I'm going to be following that path over there in a minute, but I don't know how many these cows are and if they're friendly or not. So I've never seen cows up... I've never seen cows grazing up here before. But then, you see, last year they started to plough the... They started to harvest the bracken. So they are what's happening they are re, they are using this landscape more. <laughs> you know, it's being used in a different ways. Now you see this cow pack there, look. Now I've just gotta hope that these sort of cows that they're allowing up up here are friendly. Because like I said, this is a big walking place. Now that, that lot are sheltering under a tree, but how many are there up here? Are they going to be friendly? See, look, cow pack. I've always been able to come up here and never had to worry about cows. I'll just do a little bit of videoing. I've decided now I can't do too much. I was over ambitious as usual, trying to think yeah, I could fit Velvet Bottom in. Um, but no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to keep that as a separate walk. This time, I'm going straight for Roebarrow Fort, the ancient Iron Age fort. We've got one in Weston, which is 2,300 years old at least. Iron Age Fort had also been used by the Romans, um, but the, there were tribes up there. There was a lot of battles going on in Somerset in the past with tribes. There's um, a group of people on ponies and coming along in behind me. This is good uh, horse riding country, and this. And uh, of course they do have, it's half term, so there'll be a lot of children out. Well, my, two of my grandchildren have just come back. They come back from France. They've been away with my daughter. No longer had they been back in the country when, um, the dad's flying into Lanzarote for a week. See, look at that cow there, look. He's looking at me at all. Oh, he's got big horns, look. They look more like buffalo, don't they? I don't reckon they could put them up here. I'd never go in a field with one like that. The fact that they're up here must be that they're, they're safe. There's nowhere for me to escape. I'm just going to move away now. I've zoomed in on them. They're brown, big brown things with with stubby horns. I wonder if that's it, just a small pack of them. I mean, might just put them up for an experiment. Oh, some more horses coming now. Yeah, you'll have a, there's the riding school. You're going to get a lot of... Uh, 
horses out. Right over and out for a minute, everyone. <laughs>